afternoon, BC, Aris here. Um, meant to shoot this video a little bit earlier, but as you can imagine, after uh, yesterday's exciting events, I was uh, feeling a little bit delicate this morning. And uh, when I say yesterday's exciting events, obviously I mean the uh, discovery that my local supermarket is now selling Harry Ramsden's chip shop curry sauce. Bloody hell, this is amazing. No longer do I have to queue for 40 minutes at the Codfather or or risk my life at 2 a.m. at Abracababra uh, to try and experience the uh, authentic chip shop curry sauce taste. We truly are, uh, we truly are living the dream. Oh, what a time to be alive. Amazing. Chip shop curry sauce. Now I can enjoy it at home. Seven days a week and not just Sundays. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, by the way, if anyone has seen the football, please don't tell me the score. I've, uh, I've recorded it and I'm going to watch it, watch it later and, uh, just hope my mum doesn't record over it with Antiques Roadshow. Um, so today I'm going to do my favourite greatest hits records. I love a greatest hits. Um, I just realised I've got so many of them. I could do a part two to this quite easily. But um, yeah, my perfect greatest hits is for like a band I don't particularly like the albums of, but then you get all the hits together and I kind of like the greatest hits, if that makes sense. So first up, I've gone with the undertones, um, all wrapped up. A um, bit of an inspiration there for Lady Gaga, I think, with the meat dress. Um, fantastic, the undertones. Um, first albums are made. Their the albums are great, but I think they're just they're a proper singles band. Um, and includes the amazing single, It's Gonna Happen, which is probably the most upbeat song about the IRA hunger strike that uh, exists, I imagine. But um, just brilliant. Teenage Kicks, Jimmy Jimmy, Here Comes the Summer. I mean, how good is Here Comes the Summer? A, a modern garage rock classic or pop classic so that's the undertones all wrapped up i'll tell you coming in at number 15 let's get let's let's put them in order um number 14 st standing on the beach the cure the singles the singles up to the album i think before kiss me kiss me kiss me um and again i wasn't those albums were always a little bit spotty to me and i wasn't the biggest cure fan but yeah this is great stuff um killing an arrow boys don't cry Jump in someone else's train, close to me in between days. Um, yeah, fantastic. Love it. Superb stuff. The Cure. Standing on a beach, the singles. Um, next up, another another one. Again, not a huge fan of all the albums. All well, the albums can be spotty in my opinion, but the Pet Shop Boys discography. Um, this was all their singles up to about 1988. I remember this came out in 91, 92, I think at the... Sort of the height of the CD age. And uh, I remember buying this on HMV for about £2.99 because no one was really buying it on vinyl. And now I think I think this has become quite desirable now, um, as these things always seem to happen. But yeah, all, I mean, all the pet shop boys that you need up to that period, really. Um, it's a sin, West Ham girls, love comes quickly, being boring, um, always on my mind. The Elvis cover, Heart, I love Heart. Um, yeah, fantastic. Pet shop boys. The complete singles collection. Um, next up, I mean, if you're talking amazing voices and amazing songs, and this is a few of these albums you would definitely put in the albums that are going to give you a lifelong pleasure and are going to cost you about one pound. Patsy Cline's greatest hits, absolutely incredible. I love, love Patsy Cline. I noticed, I think it, there was a, like a Patsy Cline record store day release about three years ago, it was like some box set or something. It was like. 40, 50 quid, and people were on the VC, because I remember I, I, I used to watch VC videos going, and you could tell they probably weren't big Patsy Cline fans, but they oh yeah, I've got to get this. I've got to get... And I was thinking, just buy this. This is this was like 49 pence, and it's amazing. Um, it's, on one, it's on this American copy of this, on the cardboard sleeve, love those sleeves. Um, this is, every track on here is fantastic, but uh, li the final side track on here is Leaving On Your Mind, which I absolutely love. Um, I think she actually almost starts crying halfway through it. There's a little hiccup in her voice. And uh, yeah, Leaving On Your Mind is superb. But, I mean, there is not one Duff track on here. It's absolutely superb. Walking After Midnight, Sweet Dreams, Crazy. I Fall To Pieces, which is an absolute stunner as well. So wrong. I mean, I could name every track off this. And uh, yeah, Patsy Cline's greatest hits. Get down your second hand shop. It's a quid. You'll be listening to it for years. Next up. Um, as I've, if you do watch my videos, then I've alluded, I'm, I'm not the biggest Beatles and I'm certainly not the biggest Stones fan at all. But 
This is great, isn't it? Big hits, high tiny green grass, the Rolling Stone, the, the Brian Jones era. I mean, Brian Jones was fucking, I know he was an absolute lunatic, but what a dude, uh, what an era. And uh, just love it. Absolutely. I mean, everyone knows this record, don't they? And again, this is still fairly cheap, isn't it? You can get this one for six or seven quid. And uh, I mean, Christ, you buy this. This is another lifelong pleasure. This, Patsy Klein, they're going to cost you a tenner for the two. And uh, there's a lot of good listening on that. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. Before they went a bit rock and roll and started believing their own hype, but uh, I know loads of people love the, that era, but it's not for me. But this is the great era, fantastic. Next up, um, again, another example of a band where I find the album spotty. A lot of blokes my age in the UK don't and would be very angry at me saying that, but the jam, snap. Um, but everyone had this when I was growing up. When it came, I don't know when it came out, 82, 83. Everyone had this, or everyone's older brother had this. Um, it is fantastic. I, 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 I love the jam singles. Um, I remember when Going Underground went straight into number one, and I think they were going to give us a day off at school or something. It was like mental, like the whole school. It was like we'd won the World Cup, but uh, fantastic. And uh, you still get uh, the phenomenon in the UK. I was reading about it the other day is uh, the Weller Man. You still get these blokes. Normally, about aged between about fifty to fifty-five, who still are still obsessed by Paul Weller and still have what, that Weller, Paul Weller haircut. And uh, there's even a song about it with, uh, called uh, "The Weller Man" that I heard the other day. It's like, um, "Oh no, the Weller Man comes. You can't help laughing when you see one. He spares all his time in the hair salon because he wants to be Paul Weller. Love it. This, uh, you don't see many Weller men anymore, I suppose, because they're losing their hair. It's a bit like a Pink Floyd blue triangles. They're, they're getting harder and harder to find Weller men. But they're still, I was out today and I saw a couple of Weller men. And uh, I think there's even a Twitter, a Twitter thing where to post any Weller men you see. But uh, yeah, I, I do love a Weller man. Um, next up, this is absolutely fantastic. Time is tight, the best of Booker T and the MGs. Absolutely superb. Um, I was, we were talking the other day. Um, at work like is there one song that everyone loves and like no one dislikes and we were coming up with like I don't know smells like teen spirit or something by the Beatles and we, we kind of arrived at green onions green onions by Booker T and the MGs does, does anyone dislike green onions is it is it possible to dislike it fantastic it also contains melting pot which is absolutely phenomenal what a great sleeve on this by the way um, melting pot's great but I mean the time is tight soul clap 69 hang em high soul limbo which is the uh, it, the theme music to the BBC cricket, if uh, yeah, there's a more cricket chat on this channel, that's what it needs. Um, just superb, just superb. Um, next up, Al Green's greatest hits. Yeah, I, I mean, I love Al Green. I, I love four or five of his albums as well. But I, I saw Al Green live in London in 92, I think it was. And it really was, although not the greatest show i ever seen, because he went a little bit cabaret as he's guys tended to do his voice was just off the charts i mean al green i, I love and uh yeah he sang for a bit without a microphone and it, it was incredible it was incredible i think he sang bell which is one of his greatest songs but yeah you cannot go wrong with al green's greatest hits absolutely superb next up and uh you just can't fault this and a bit a bit like the jam snap everyone had this in 81 didn't they the best of blondie and uh this, is, this goes for a few quid now, isn't it? The best of blind. I assume this was like a one pound record, but I went on Discord. So I think medium's in about 12, 15 quid now. But I think it's because, like, kids who are getting into vinyl with their Crosleys and all that, they, a lot of kids still love Blondie. They, they're sort of ageless, aren't they? And a lot of girls love Debbie Harry, don't they? And it was her birthday yesterday, 70, 76. Can't be right, can it? But uh, yeah, the best of Blondie. Um, sadly, without the poster, I think I might have uh, spent some time with the poster, maybe, as a young man. So the poster is a. Uh, is no longer here but yeah fantastic um next up phenomenal new order substance 1987 all the all, all the all the singles up to i think after brotherhood and pre technique is that right with a few other bits and bobs thrown in if this came out nowadays there'd be absolute chaos because they re-recorded some of the tracks, they put different versions. The internet would be agog with lunatics threatening Barney and Peter Hook's life probably, but at the time no one cared. We, there were, maybe there was a few angry letters to the enemy and Melody Maker, but fantastic. And I love the version of Ceremony on this. Everyone says it's the worst version, but I think it's amazing. 
and you've got the eight, nine minute versions of uh, Perfect Kiss, which is just perfect. Bizarre Love Triangle, everything's gone green. I mean, it's, it's all killer, apart from one track on here, which I cannot stand, which is Subculture, which is dreadful. But uh, apart from that, New Order Substance, absolutely superb. Um, if, I was to t uh, if any kid said to me, what, give me a, an album to get me into soul, I wouldn't have to think twice. The Best of Sam and Dave, absolutely killer. Another American one, this. This must be when I used to shop in London in the import shops, and uh, these were always about a quid. Fantastic. Utterly sublime, this. Um, Sam and Dave were the influence for the Blues Brothers, the film The Blues Brothers. And uh, I remember when the, when the two lads who starred in uh, John Belushi and uh, the other bloke, when they, were, when they were trying to pump themselves up, they used to drive around Detroit or New York or somewhere, wherever it was filmed. I think it was Detroit, wasn't it? Listening to an eight track of The Best of Sam and Dave also contains not only the greatest B-side of it all time, but maybe the greatest soul track of all time, Wrap It Up, which was a B-side on a seven-inch single, which is just amazing, Wrap It Up. I, 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 every time I put it on, I, was, I went out the other night and, and a DJ wh whacked it on around the pub I was at and everyone was just like going berserk. Wrap It Up by Sam and Dave. It's, it's almost like garage rock. It's just incredible. But uh, yeah, the best of Sam and Dave. What an absolute killer. Um, next up, Number two, I forgot to do the countdown, didn't I? These are in a kind of order, counting down. Just one of my first musical obsessions, and one of the reasons, there's a few There's a few artists that got me obsessed by music. Sam Cooke, one of them, but his greatest hits didn't make it, make the cut. Buddy Holly's greatest hits, another one. You can find, I mean, how many Buddy Holly greatest hits are there? I was, I was in a second-hand shop today, and there was about 15 different versions. This is my favourite version. It just sounds great. Two pound, one pound, just... Amazing. I mean, amazing. There's a reason why the Beatles worship Buddy Holly. Peggy Sue, that'll be the day. Every day. Oh boy, not fade away. Maybe baby. Rave on. Think it over. It's so easy. True love ways. I mean, this is. If you just buy this, you've got an, you've got you've got a friend for life with this record. Absolutely superb. And number one, my favourite hits compilation ever, and maybe one of my great favourite records ever. Singles Going Steady by the Buzzcocks. I can't say enough about the Buzzcocks. Um, also, my favourite ever single. This is one of my prized possessions. Um, this isn't on here, but this is Spiral Scratch, the 7-inch, which was one of the first 7-inches I ever bought, actually, in about 1982, 83. And it's got Boredom on it. Boredom by the Buzzcocks is maybe the greatest song ever. Doesn't appear on, on Singles Going Steady, probably due to some licensing issues, but uh, all the A-sides on side one, all the B-sides on side two. The B-sides were as good as the A-sides. Oh, I mean, love you more. What do I get? Ever fallen in love? Everybody's happy nowadays. Something's gone wrong again. Just again, buy this record and it's just amazing. So uh, yeah, Buzzcock singles going steady. Absolutely superb. So there's me, uh, some of me, uh, all my top 15 greatest hits records ever. And uh, I think that's an amazing selection personally but uh, i could even do a part two of this i think I've, as i said i found a lot of crazy hits but uh yeah thanks for watching and i'm, I'm sure there'll be more videos soon thank you